All right, so now let's look at defending the knee cut pass. Another one of the most common passes you're going to have to defend is the knee cut pass. So the opponent is going to come in, he's going to grab your lapel, he's going to trap this leg and start to step in. So most important thing in the beginning, we want to keep our knee above our arm. As soon as this starts to open, it's a very similar idea. The elbow knee space, this gap starts to open. If his knee starts going in here, now he's kind of getting inside that elbow knee space with his knee, right? So at Toriando, go up, he's getting inside of the elbow knee space from the outside by pulling the leg open and entering here. Okay, so that's like what a Toriando is. A knee cut is getting into the elbow knee space by going through with the knee, right? So if I'm out here like this and he goes in with that knee cut, now this becomes really hard. That space has started to open up and he's getting in, right? But if I have my arm under here, now when he goes in, see, he can't really get in. So even though his knee is in, there's no gap here to get into, so I'm okay. So I frame the bicep and the shoulder here. I lasso my heel over, and this is like we did in the grip fighting phase. Now I can grab the sleeve, push, and come back out. But even if I didn't want to go to the lasso or the sleeve, right, I could go here, push. I could just push, go back out. If it was nogi, that's still a super valid way to recompose. Have my legs moving and start grip fighting and going from here. A lot of these guard retention principles will translate completely fine to nogi. Obviously, all like the collar sleeve, double sleeve, that won't work nogi. But this stuff, the guard retention mechanics, that's still the same principles. Okay, so we're here. So again, he comes in on that cut, tight, right? Don't chase with the knee. If you start chasing with the knee, this is gonna drop and now we're gonna end up more in a knee shield. And you can do that, but that's not what we're focusing on right now. Okay, so we're here. So he comes in, arm under the leg, frame the shoulders, heel over first. Now grab the sleeve if you want, right? But you don't grab the sleeve before you lasso because now I may not be able to lasso because he's too close. I frame, heel over, push, leg out. Now I'm in lasso spider and I can start building from there. All right, so let's look at another knee cut variation. So go up. So now, the previous time he came in and had the lapel entered, so we keep our knees tight, we frame the shoulders, I lasso my heel over, push, get the leg out, and I can go from there. In this case, he's gonna enter for a knee cut, but he's gonna be holding the pant leg. Now the difficulty with this, come in the same way, but hold the pant leg, right, is that now I can't lasso because of this leg grip. See, it's hard to go over this, right? So instead, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna push his shoulder and I'm gonna put my foot in the bicep. And now again, the same idea of the outside leg mechanic, I'm, I can press and kind of go down with this and it'll give me the motion to bring this leg back out. Now from here, if he keeps holding, I can grab both sleeves, I got spider. If he lets go, I don't wanna hold one spider because I'm gonna get thrown. So I break, lasso, and now I'm back in control, okay? All right, we're here, so he gets the pant leg, he enters, again, arm under my knee, I'm fine here. I frame the shoulder, foot goes in the bicep. See if he's tighter with this? Okay, I just push away, foot in the bicep. Now I can center up by pushing down and we're here. If he lets go of the grips, okay, we're back into grip fighting. We know what to do from here. Cool. All right, so let's look at another common situation with the knee cut, which is you lose the bottom knee tight and you have to use a knee shield. So go up. So in this case, what happens is he enters for the knee cut and instead of having that elbow knee tight here like this, just somehow we end up losing that, right? So we're gonna end up with this knee shield. If he gets the lapel, I wanna try to shield over top of that uh, lapel grip really hard like this, because it's gonna kind of break his grip and make it really hard for him to frame in, okay? Um, so now I'm gonna go here, even if he has the lapel out here, it's okay, right? So I'm gonna frame with this arm, right? If I can, like we did in the grip fight series, I could try to break this and pull this leg out and now I have a good position. But sometimes we're here like this and that's just really hard. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna frame hard here. I push with the knee, I push with the collar. I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna come up on my elbow. Okay, this is like when you're really in trouble, this is the best one to get out. So I come up on the elbow, now I can push really hard. I kind of put my weight on my left shin on his thigh and I can scoot back a lot to get this leg out and now I can come back and start working from here. So now I'm here, he's got the lapel. Okay, I got the shield. I start pushing, I come up on my elbow, I push, push, and I scoot this back. This kind of position up on the elbow really allows you to scoot back and get that leg out and start coming back down, okay? Okay, so he comes in, maybe his uh, grip's on the outside this time. Right, again, we lost that bottom control position. We're here, I turn my palm down so I can press my palm into his like chin, neck, okay? I go here, I come up, come up. I use the support system of this shin on his thigh here to scoot back, get this leg out, come out, and then now we're back here. If he grabs, I can break. I could go straight to lasso spider, looking all the time for some kind of an initial grip that you can start, your build, uh, start to build your game off of.